boy, oh boy, it's been a long time since we've actually played this on my channel, Robert's Arsenal, but welcome to a bit of heyday, which we are getting excited about, a brand new update. It wasn't even all that long ago since they've updated the game with uh, a lot more things like a hat maker and puppies and kittens, so little baby dogs, of course, and little baby cats, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, we have not leveled up anywhere near enough to start really focusing on them. I'm still basically focusing on the main basic game pretty much just grinding it out at the moment we have progressed quite a little bit i've only been playing since i guess january since um we really started focusing up on this channel a little bit but we are going to be going through what we've got this update that's going to be coming right around and of course we are going to be playing a little bit of heyday back in the background so first things first is as you can see i've got still a lot of expansions left in over here unfortunately but then again i don't really need all that space just yet so i don't really have any problems with that i might have a look at the forums and look at all these um trading features maybe we'll be able to go ahead and uh, buy some um off some trades as well with some plays on the forums and that way we'll be able to unlock a couple of expansions but the first little sneak peek that supercell have given us is that we're able to actually go ahead and now it seems like expand upon this grassy area over here, this forested area. So we're going to have a lot more expansion places. But it seems like a lot of these guys, if I check out over onto, let's see, where is this guy? There's one guy in my neighborhood. Here we go. And and then he's very, very advanced. He's level 89. He's almost run out of space. I mean, not completely. He's still got a fair bit, but if you wanted to plant a lot more trees and shrubs and all of that stuff he easily could and it would not be a problem for him to fill all of this space out so now we're going to have a couple more expansion points which is going to be very useful in the meantime though let's get uh planting something else you know what i probably need some more carrots here we go we've got some carrots out over here as well so let's go with actually i probably need a bit more pig feed don't i we've got a lot of soybeans which is good so now we're able to go ahead and uh feed the animals because soybean that's pretty much all you need to use it for for animal feed so anyways we've got a what do you call it the three-star veterancy the um, specialization or the full mastery sorry of the sugar mill so now we're able to produce goods 15 percent faster which is quite useful it's the first machine that i have if i can talk properly uh, mastered we've got so that's at level three we've got a couple of other machines coming along nicely as well uh, obviously not the cake oven uh, i'm pretty sure the barbecue grill though only 70 hours left there and we've also got the dairy mastery as well about 53 hours or so so that's going to be pretty exciting once i get that in the meantime though i think that's about as close as we are getting it we've also unlocked the ice cream maker which i did go ahead and build so that's very very useful to make a lot of money really quickly all i do is just pump out the strawberry ice cream as you can see we've got three slots already filled up here and they sell for quite a bit in the meantime we're also working on the jam maker so that's going to take another day and 10 hours a bit of a grind i've got only one smelter but i can continually get that to work in perpetuity really perpetuity um it can work pretty much forever and ever and it's got no lapses of um, productivity so that's good in the meantime though let's get into the second little sneak peek that they've given us so now we're able to go ahead and get a pasta maker a hot dog stand and of course some new products so i guess the hot dog maker will be able to create like tomato sauce or something maybe in the jam maker because if tomatoes are fruits then it isn't ketchup a jam right you, you might think that would be the case maybe we'll have to wait and see how they work that out because i'm assuming there'll be tomato sauce there uh there'll be probably some type of mustard or that'd be really cool maybe some new seeds that would be very very nice because at the moment let's see how much i've got we've got some um, 10 about 12 at the moment 13 once we unlock i guess this is barley at level 56 we're still very low leveled we need to grind it out I think it takes like a year or so of just continually playing this game to get to like level 100 so still a long long way for me to get up there in the experience points so we also got a pasta maker which i'm assuming wheat will be useful for speaking of which we probably could go ahead and uh plant a lot more of it around over here so we can get some just to grow out like wheat's always good to grow 
because it's uh, easy experience points, grows out quickly, and you can get the um, requirements that you need for the expansions pretty quickly as well. So in the picture that we've got there as well that they've uh, sneak peeked, we've got a, I can see at least two different hot dogs. We've got like a corn dog as well, it seems like, and we've got about four different bowls of pasta, or four different types of pasta. So it seems like there'll be quite a bit of new products that we'll be able to create. And the latest sneak peek as well is that they've released 14 or so hours ago. So I'm assuming there might be a couple more sneak peeks yet, is they've given us a couple more puppies as well and kittens as well that we're able to go ahead and get at least one new one of each. So a maybe well i guess maybe not a retriever puppy but a different type which is pretty cool i'm not able to get any of them just yet um tabby the kitten we're only get at level 49 so it's a long way until we're able to unlock any of that uh, maybe i could go for another horse or two i think i still need a little bit more vouchers um, so it is going to be a bit of a grind let's see maybe a horse i would love a horse because horses do pay off with um I don't think I've got enough blue ones, no. Oh well, so that's a struggle. We've got to keep on grinding it out. But let's go into our neighborhood because I haven't been playing this game in a very long time, or at least on my channel. So we might as well make the most of it and uh, have a look at what we've got since last time we've played this. Here we go. It's always good to check out this ocean or river that you've got in your neighborhood because there's pretty much always a chest there. Always nice to pick it up. Let's see what missions we've got. It's nothing that we can do. Here we go. Yum. We've got some cornbread and apple for her. And we need three wheat, so we'll be able to help this guy out. So that's a grocery done. We've got some vanilla ice cream. And here we go. We've got a burger for her. And then this guy wants a cream cake. And this guy wants some baked potato, which is going to be a bit of a struggle to go get. But I think I might be close to actually being able to get it because... We ha are working on some cheese, so baked potatoes you get to work on over here. And that's all I need is the cheese, so that's good. Let's go get that wheat, and we will be able to help that other guy that wanted wheat. Oh, and we also got some uh, a nail, or a screw, or something of the sort, so or a bolt, which is uh, going to prove useful for us. So, where is that guy that wanted wheat? Was it you? Was it you? Oh, all right, I guess this guy was in the grocery. There he is. That's fairly simple to do. Now, we're going to have to wait out for the jam maker to help this lady out. Or we could go ahead and tell her to go back home. But I'll go ahead and uh, complete that mission for her because I'm nice like that. In the meantime, we've also built up our very own personal train. I don't have... Oh, actually, we could upgrade this as well, couldn't we? Although there's no real need to do that. Oh, and you can also upgrade the amount of time that it takes for the um, train to come by. Which is actually very useful because there isn't really all that much use for the refined coal. And just any of the metals, the refined metals, it doesn't seem like there's any real use for them. So I guess now we can actually use them for this, which is actually going to be very useful for me. Reduce the time in between trains so i have to get to work on and uh, stop selling all of my stuff all of my metals but actually go ahead and um, keep them because i've been selling a lot of things so obviously i just recently splurged on the jam maker so we had a lot more before that and uh, i'm pretty much spending all my diamonds on getting extra productivity slots in my productivity building so we're doing fairly well uh, if anyone wants to join the neighborhood, it is called Fish, I think it was. Yeah, it's called Fish. Because at the time, I just I needed Fish to fill out a boat request. So, I was looking for a neighborhood that's got fish in it. And I found this. I might go ahead and uh, leave and create my own neighborhood. But I guess we'll wait and see how um, many of you guys start watching the Heyday series and all. But until next time, I think that's going to be it for the update episode of hater i guess you could call it until next time though guys make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't because there will be heyday content in the future we'll have to wait and see just how frequently though but until next time i'll see you guys later hopefully you've enjoyed